Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. So, Lucky Dube was right. Three days after Obaseki swearing in for a second tenor, see what he plans to do. Hello, everyone. Very warm big thank you to every one of you out there. We really appreciate you. God bless you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Apple Line Media, we take it upon ourselves to keep you up to date with all that is going on in Nigeria and across the world. Well, Obaseki was sworn in two days ago and the court cases have begun. A lot of issues are happening right now as we speak and it's unimaginable. Apparently... We're hearing that uh, Lucky Dube was right three days ago. You know, uh, it was right three days after Obaseki swearing in. Uh, what he planned to do is all coming out in the surface. Let's get straight into the news and get all the details. Governor Godwin Obaseki of Edo State and his deputy, Philip Shaibu, was sworn in for the second turn on October the 12th. Was sworn in for a second tenor on November the 12th, which is precisely three days ago. And since then, the people of Edo State have been waiting for him to start consolidating on his campaign promises. During his inaugural speech, he thanked the people of the state for believing in him for the second time and promised to bring development in different areas of the state and also lead the state by exhibiting core lead leadership skill like transparency, accountability, inclusiveness, and prevalence, which he said were already core characteristics of his first four years in office. When you look at when you take a look at the tension and the drama that built up prior to the September 19 governorship election, you will agree that the people of Edo State indeed gave Governor Gordon Obaseki love and solidarity, and he has no reason at all to disappoint them. That is why it came as a very big shock to everyone when Governor Gordon Obaseki announced today that the state government have acquired 25 hectares of land to build a correction facility prison. The elected governor made this known during his Thanksgiving service at the, Lagos, at the government house in Benin, the state capital. That isn't all in the reports made by the, nation, by the nation. The governor also disclosed that the state government has also created 725 new vacancies for new generation of professionals. And very soon, the recruitment process will commence. And by the early 2020, 2021, the 725 vacancies would have been filled up by the new professionals. He said that after the new professionals have begun chosen intensive training will commence for them for about 30 to 45 days to enable them the, to acquire the enough skill and the competence they need the, to be able to handle the task ahead to be able to do the work they will be getting into. In the report, which was made by the Sahar reporters, Obaseki also said that another thing on the agenda is to create political appointments in the state and bring in more people to join hand in driving the goal and objective of his administration. He said that consigning the area of security, he said that the state cannot depend only on the central policing system to take care of security challenges in Edo State, adding that there are always ongoing arrangements to train 2,000 community constables and that 80, 877 of them have already graduated already. We are already preparing. He said that the community constables are who are being trained by the Nigerian police force will be deployed to various communities in the state to work with the local security outfit in providing maximum security in the communities. The ideas of making the building of a prison among the top 
priorities made Obaseki to receive more backlash from the members of the public. Many questions the rationale behind building a prison first in the state when there are many areas we should have concentrated on first, especially the area of human development. They said that the people of Edo State would not be happy that after going through the effort of electing him into office, prison is one of the first things he wants to put in place. Some advise him to use the money instead to either build schools, factories, hospitals, or use the money to develop the youth in the state. Because when youth are employed and engaged, there is no need to build prisons for them. Because a youth who has something doing will not think about committing a crime that will take them out of prison. Some immediately remember the words of late Lucky Dube in one of his songs that he sang that they won't build no schools anymore. They won't build no hospitals. All they build, it will be prison and lock up the doors. They said that Lucky Dube was right when he made the kind of decision our African leaders sometimes make. Many said that the words of the late rapper artist seem like prophecy in this case because they don't understand why the governor will want to build prison first in a 25 acre of land instead of more facilities and revolutions that would change the course of a do state, give the youth a sense of direction and help them move forward and make the state a better place for everyone. My people, uh, this is what is going on currently now in Edo State. Um, some persons are not very happy with Governor Gordon Obaseki because when he opened and you know revealed the plans of how things are going to go systematically, first on the agenda was the building of correction center, which is, which we call prison. Twenty five hectare of land has been secured to that effect. After which, before true development and others that will follow. And so the people are saying, is Lucky do be right after all when he said that the government of Nigeria will rather build prison, lock up the people, instead of you know, making things that will move the state forward. But in your opinion, what do you think? You know, because I mean, Governor Gordon Obaseki is surrounded by councillors. I tell you sincerely, he's not taking this decision based on himself. I mean, these are just ideas and perspective of the people. But come to think about it, look at all that is going on in Edo State with the whole court activity. You see, I don't know what the rationale is behind all this, but you are the ones who lives in Edo State. My people, what do you think? Leave us a comment. Let's hear your thoughts on all that is going on uh, please don't forget to like us share subscribe click on the notification button so you can always get all our latest news we are here to keep you up to date with all that is going on in nigeria and around the world you have a voice please use it don't allow yourself to be intimidated god bless you have a fantastic day bye for now